Celebrating Chinese German friendship with music and traditional Chinese dance. At the event hosted by the Chinese Consular General Huang Yiyang, awards were given to eight German people who've made a significant and sustained effort in bringing their country closer to China and the Chinese people. Karl-Heinz Gass has a 43-year association with China. A former butcher, he strived to build economic and artistic ties between the two countries. Some of his Chinese collection from his travels were donated to the consulate to display five years ago. His whole connection with China began because of a chance encounter with a Chinese official. It was a coincidence in Switzerland. It started something because I ended up taking over 300 flights to Beijing and I was there for at least three years. I went to China because when I came there, I got through to the people and they had respect for me and I told them the truth about everything. Thomas Rabe is keeping alive well over a century of his family's relationship with China. His grandfather was John Rabe, who as CEO of the Siemens Company in China, was in Nanjing during the Japanese invasion during World War II. Using the large amount of documents from the time that still exist, including his grandfather's diaries, Thomas has written a book about John Rabe, whose leadership in the creation of the safety zone in Nanjing saved a quarter of a million Chinese civilian lives. Looking at him, I admire him because he's an example for moral and leadership, for hum human humanitarianism here, and to what he did here for the Chinese people. He said, if you save one life, you can save the complete world, which is mentioned in the Talmud here. And my grandfather also said it here in other words, never leave a friend alone here if he is in danger. Both China and Germany have a strong passion for sport, and in 1992, when Klaus Schlappner became the first foreigner to coach the Chinese men's football team, those two worlds came together. Schlappner led China to the semi-finals of the Asian Cup and changed a few crucial internal structures of the national side to bring them in line with other nations. But there were a few hurdles to overcome, not least how we communicated with the players. With my language, with my dialect. Yeah. Yes, however, I have an excellent interpreter who was in Germany for six months at the Göttingen Institute and also in Heidelberg. And I come from this corner of Heidelberg, Mannheim, and they speak this dialect, and he understood it. Yes, but you don't have to understand as much with words as you do at the training ground. And the players here saw whether I was in a good mood or not. And of course, I tried a lot, a lot to get the players to Beijing all the time, because it wasn't the case before. They were with their teams, and they arrived the day before the international match. Uh, Worthy winners, one and all, celebrating with a mighty feast and looking forward to many more years of Chinese-German friendship. Peter Oliver, CGTN, Frankfurt.